G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name's Matthew. Now I've been asked a few times now how to wire up an indicator light to signal when the laser machine is operating so that when a cutting job has been completed the light goes off. Now it can be used as a visual reminder that the machine is operating to increase safety around the laser machine. Now some laser machine users have multiple machines and they're operating in noisy environments so an indicator light can be a good indication when the machine is running and when it's finished so that they can then set up for the next project. As a safety note, the indicator light is not designed so that you can walk away from your machine. It's just to monitor when the job has been uh, running and when it's complete. As a laser can catch fire, it's uh, not recommended that you leave your laser machine unattended. Now I'll be installing this uh, indicator light on the Ruida RDC 6432G controller. Now the exact same process is relevant for most Ruida controllers such as the RDC 6442, 6445G and the 6445GT. You'll need a 24 volt LED uh, or indicator lamp and I chose this 10 to 30 volt LED uh, trailer light for my uh, demonstration here and uh, check the video description for other parts and tools that I use for this upgrade. Now the wiring is pretty straightforward and I'll include a wiring diagram on my website and the link will be in the description below. Now first you'll need to mount your status indicator light and run the wiring neatly inside the machine to the mainboard, making sure to keep it secure and out of the way of any moving parts or fans. So I've decided that I'd like to mount mine here and I'll check that I can get the cables in there nice and easily. So I'm gonna mount uh, my bracket here for the LED to clip into. On the RDC 6432G, the uh, ground connection from our light goes to the status terminal on the output. Now this one already had a, another wire in there, so rather than try to jam another terminal in there, I've joined them together and put a new terminal connection on there. Now I can connect them in and wire that one up. Now on this controller, the 24 volt is taken from the 24 volt input, which is down here where our power connection for our main board goes in. So that's where the positive connection goes to our 24 volt lamp. Now with the Ruida RDC 6442, the 45 and the 45 GT, those controllers can have the 24 volt from our status lamp connected to the CN1 and the 24 volt output. So those are there on these controllers. Now the negative connection from our status light goes to status and that is on CN1 status and again it's the same on all these controllers. So now we're going to monitor the uh, status light and see how it works. So I've got a job ready to go and I've got my material set and uh, laser focused. Make sure it fits. And then we're ready to start. So I hope this answers the questions for those that have asked how to install a status light on their laser machine. Uh, and as you can see, when the job starts, the light will come on and as it's completed, the light will go off. So that gives you an indication of the running time of the machine and the added visual that uh, the machine is operating to increase some of the safety around your laser machine. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And until next time, take care. Cheers.